Hi there guys, welcome back to the Red and Blue Site YouTube channel and bang, Palace have got their second signing of this summer window and I'm so, so happy that it's all all paid off and you know, so many times in the past and just a few years really, we've seen targets that have been looked so promising, Bowen being the most prominent one from last season of course, we're coming really close or looking like we were close and then the whole deal falling through or it just turns out another team's beat us to him. Um, and there's been quite a few instances of that over the last few windows. And sometimes, obviously, we haven't even been linked with anyone at all until deadline day. So for for this signing to go through, Abere Eze, or Ez, as he as it's meant to be pronounced, um, as I've seen already on his um, interview uh, with the club, um, has signed for, for a four-year deal from QPR for the region of 19 and a half million pounds I think 16 million plus three and a half million add-ons um great deal and it's a good it's a good deal in terms of money I think that's about the right price we should be paying for a player of his quality just in general so so excited about this the potential of Ez it sounds weird calling it Ez because I kept calling it Eze all this time um but Abere, I'll call him Abere, you know, by his first name. He's now a Palace player. Abere, I think that it's just so, so exciting to see a player who's, in my opinion, very similar to the um, the sort of player that Will was when we got promoted back in 2013. He Very similar style, very a lot of flair, a lot of... Uh, it, it just suits that Source FC sort of mentality we have with our wingers and in just in terms of Palace in general. You know, over the years, we've had all of the tricky wingers that have come through the academy and have gone on to play for, for big teams. Victor Moses obviously being the probably the biggest uh, in recent years coming through the academy and obviously now playing for Inter Milan, which is incredible. He was so flary at the time. Well, not so much flary, but he was a skillful, exciting young winger. Wilf, Balassi, all these players. Now, um, uh, Aberez is going to join those ranks and be one of those players. And I'm just so excited. I think there's, as I said, there's glimpses of what Wilf was like when we got promoted in the way as plays. I'd love to see him play in the number 10. And so many, in fact, all QPR fans have told me is he has to play number 10. He's he's so good just behind in that role, just behind the striker. Problem is, since uh, probably since Pardew left, really, or Sam Allardyce, we haven't really played that system, especially under Roy. We do play a 4 3 3, but it's more Lucas sitting, two midfielders just ahead of him. Um, and then it's obviously Mako or Kiate linking up the play from the defence to the midfield, box to box style. We don't really have those two people sit midfielders sitting behind a more advanced midfielder. Um, and maybe Roy's going to change up formation. I doubt it. I doubt that he's going to change things up for one player. Uh, I can see him being played out wide. And a lot of QPR fans say, say that he's good out wide, but he gets lost and he can be in and out of games um, when he's played out wide. He's a lot more consistent being played down the middle and you will get the best out of him if you play him in a number 10 role. So that's worth looking out for as a Palace fan, you know, in the coming weeks in, in the way Roy will play him. I think I think Roy has signed him as a winger, which in the, isn't the end of the world because I've seen a lot of clips of him playing out wide. And let me tell you, if he can do that, some of the stuff he's done in the Championship last season in the Premier League in the upcoming season... We're going to have a really exciting young player on our hands here. I think this is just a great deal all round. QPR get the money I think they deserve out of the deal. He's their star player. We get uh, an absolutely brilliant, promising young talent. England under-21 international. Will make his will play for England one day. I am guarantee that. Um, hopefully in Palace Colours, he will make that England debut as well one day. And uh, yeah, I think there's a lot to be excited about. Ferguson done. Young, exciting, promising young fullback. Eze done, or Ez, sorry, I'm going to have to get used to that. Uh, young, promising, exciting winger, might, or, or you know, midfielder, may play on that right-hand side with Ferguson, which already strengthens our right-hand side immensely from last season, in my opinion. A lot to be excited about. More signings need to come in, uh, and it looks like we are looking, obviously, to get Matega, the striker. Whether we go in for that sort of money, we got an initial bid rejected of around £18 million. Going over £20 million for him might be a bit risky. That's obviously a lot of money already spent this window if we do go for him again. But striker, I think, is, is, a, nece is a necessity, especially when we have a, we don't really have much depth in that role. And um, ideally, probably a, maybe a left-back or another defender to go chuck in there as well. And all of a sudden, we're looking really, really good. With Ezin, um, definitely, it, it increases our... It just improves our expectation on this in the upcoming season. As I said, young, flary, he fits the mould of a Palace winger to a T. Really happy that the board have got this done and dusted. We've slagged off the parish and the board, or a lot of people. I haven't really done that because I don't believe in doing that. But, you know, a lot of people have been upset with the way the board has handled transfers in the previous windows. Rightfully so as well. We've been very frustrating in the transfer market of late. Um, but you have to say this window, getting Ferguson and Ayres done this early... 
um, Abelez and Nathan Ferguson, I think that is, you've got to give them credit here. And it's great start to the window and I hope it can continue. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm buzzing with this news. It's a four-year deal. Abelez has joined Palace. Onwards and upwards, up the Palace. Looking forward to this season already.